Do you remember how I emphasized the importance of making sure you did all you could to secure your Pi? Do you remember all I said about the Pi browser, and how you should make sure to download and install it? Well, the time has come to see if you have done so. If you have not done what I am about to show you in this video, then you are not going to move your Pi to the mainnet. In other words, you will not claiming the Pi that you have mined for years. To know exactly what to do, I will suggest that you pay attention to this video. Take it serious if you really need your Pi, and please, subscribe for updates, because it's about that time when the end will justify the means. So, if you are ready to claim your Pi, stick around. If not, well, I can't help you. mentioned in some of my previous videos, that it is important we get the Pi browser installed. Create our wallets, verify our accounts, because, this will be a criteria to qualify for KYC. A lot of people thought I was just making videos. I have news for you. The core team has emphasized recently on the same topics which I had months ago mentioned. I will take you through the steps to actually secure your Pi. This steps are checklists that will ensure you are at the right path to moving your Pi to mainnet. Believe me when I say this, if these things are not done, you will not be able to move your Pi. Let's get into it. To get to the checklists, click on the menu button Form the Pi app. Then select Mainnet. This will open up a page with about 7 checklists. Remember, I told you guys that it will not be as simple as click click to get into Mainnet. I will address them as seen on the screen. Number 1. Download the Pi Browser app from the iOS App Store slash Google Play Store. There, you can create a non-custodial Pi wallet, verify KYC and access other Pi apps. The Pi browser is essential, I repeat, the Pi browser is essential to complete multiple steps of the mainnet transfer. For the last time, if you have not downloaded and installed the Pi browser, this will be a perfect time to do just that. If you need tutorials on how to go about it, I made a video on how to do just that, which I will leave a link in the description. Next is creating a wallet. The Pi Wallet is where you receive, and store your Pi on the Pi blockchain. Find the Wallet app in the Pi Browser. Meaning that you can only create a wallet through the Pi Browser, which in turn is required to hold your Pi coins. If you have not done so, I highly recommend you do so now. I also have video on how to create Pi Wallet and secure them. Check them out. Once the system recognizes that you have done any of the required tasks, it will check it as done. After creating a wallet, the next step is to confirm ownership. This involves you identifying ownership by providing the passphrase of the wallet. Remember I emphasized on keeping the passphrase safe. This is when you will need it for verification. I will demonstrate how to go about this. First of all, when you click on confirm your Pi wallet, you will be asked to manually unlock your wallet using the passphrase, to demonstrate you can access it. This also confirms that your mainnet balance will transfer to this wallet. At this point, Go ahead and copy the passphrase from where you safely stored, and paste it here. Then click Confirm Wallet. Once done, you will be asked to activate either fingerprint or facial ID on your phone, depending on the particular one that your phone uses. When you complete this process successfully, your wallet public key address should appear on the checklist. The next on the list is the lockup configuration. You can voluntarily commit to lock up a portion of your transferable balance for a boosted mining rate, effective March 14, 2022. The lockup configuration is binding upon commitment, so the amount and duration of the lockup cannot be changed before your first mainnet transfer. Also, you need to know that pioneers must commit to a lockup setting to be eligible for mainnet migration, even if they decide not to lock up any Pi. This is a clause that you must adhere to. As you can see, I have done that myself. And also there is a video that can guide you to locking up your Pi. The next step is the commit to lockup configuration. I will not go into how to do this, if you have not locked up some or all of your Pi, and you need to. Check out the video where I did a step by step about it. I will leave a card, and description to the video. Remember it is very important that you lock up your Pi. The next three steps are all talking about the KYC. KYC, Identity Verification is a prerequisite to transfer your mobile balance to the mainnet blockchain. Go to the KYC app in the Pi browser to verify your identity, and submit your KYC application. After the submission, you wait for the KYC result. 
KYC results will depend on identity verification, your name matching with your PI account, screening against government AML and anti-terrorism sanction list, and if the account has scripting or policy violation history. After all these, the next step is to invite your team members to apply for KYC. This will allow more transferable PI to be transferred to the mainnet, as soon as they complete and pass KYC. That's why I have mentioned several times, that the PI network is interlocked. Let us work together and achieve a common goal. The PI dApps will soon be released. This will happen in the second quarter of this year, and that's when most transactions will commence. My advice is this, do this now, and be free and ready without restrictions at that time. For more updates on Pi Network, subscribe to my channel, if you have not done so. Hit the notification and give a thumbs up. This will help me bring more informative videos your way. And besides it is free to do, but worth a lot to me. My name is Tony, and this is Basic Knowledge. Until my next video. Keep mining.